Hello, and uh, welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, you know, <clears throat> a few days ago, I was at a radio club meeting in Rockwall, Texas, and uh, we've got quite a few beginners uh, up there at the uh, radio club, and they were asking the typical questions, you know, like, uh, uh, what radio should I buy? And, and really some questions that uh, had me thinking a little bit. And questions like, uh, where do I buy a radio? How do I figure out which radio to buy? And radios seem to be real complicated. So what I wanted to do today was uh, <clears throat> kind of answer questions, and, and that would be uh, uh, <clears throat> where can I find out information about uh, radios? And of course, uh, you can do that on the internet <clears throat> very easily, and we're going to do that right now. I'm going to open up uh, a little browser window. So for you newbies that are uh, kind of like me and new to the hobby and want to figure out where to buy equipment, uh, get your pen and pencil out. And here we go. So <clears throat> one of the really good sites to check out used equipment is a site called qth.com so <clears throat> here we are at qth.com and notice they've got a pretty extensive menu of different kinds of radio equipment and uh, so if I was looking for a uh, VHF UHF radio which a technician uh, licensed individual might want to be looking for uh, I'd click right here and I'd get a list of uh, those types of radios uh, for sale and uh, pretty extensive listing and new ones show up there all the time pretty safe site although uh, personally whenever I buy something off of uh, QTH I always try to contact the seller by phone and uh, talk to them a little bit and that gives me a, a little bit better comfort feeling before I send my money. But many nice radios here. So one spot would be QTH.com and you want to click the, uh, when you first go there, you're going to go to the home screen, which looks like this. And you're going to wonder, well, where are those radios? Well, what you need to do is click, go up here where it says uh, Ham Radio Info and click the classified ads. And you'll go right here. So that's one site. <clears throat> Let me uh, get you another site. And that would be QRZ, QRZ.com. And here I am on QRZ. Uh, z.com and of course I've got a I'm a registered user here and I have my own web page here so if you typed in typed in my call sign which is w1xwx and searched for me <clears throat> and there I am and you can see my shack up here and some some information on me and there's my smiling face and all that stuff so uh, this is a, a great site when you want to look up a call sign uh, on someone that you might be talking to on the radio you can uh, look up that person you can actually get the address and everything but you must be a uh, registered user and uh, come on up here and log in and then you'll see a little more information here on this page. But for finding radios, this is another good site. If you look up here at the top, it says Swap Meet Hot List. And we'll click that. And uh, here's a bunch of items for sale. Uh, it's kind of a more of a, you know, I don't want to call it a flea market, but uh, odds and ends, you know, there's no, doesn't uh, seem to be any order to it. They just pop up uh, whenever somebody posts a new item uh, in no particular order. But 
not very hard to look around and uh, you know here's an ICOM 7000 let's take a look at that that's an all band radio so uh, here's an ICOM 7000 and a power supply for sale both which you need to power supply and this person is asking $975 for this setup not a bad price for an IC uh, 7000 uh, HF VHF UHF uh, radio so another good place to find uh, used radios would be qrz.com and just go up here into the swap meet and start looking around now uh, we're kind of blessed here in uh, North Texas in that we have several uh, retail stores uh, and there's a really good one you might have to take a little drive up to Paris Texas to a, pl a company called Main Trading Main Trading so all you got to do is come up here into Google type in Main Trading and do a little search and well, lo and behold, there is <clears throat> Main Trading, the first uh, link there, and let's click that. And we're now at Main Trading site. Uh, Richard's a real nice fella and will help you out uh, buying your first radio. And of course, my own personal recommendation to you would be either this Woosung uh handheld uh, handy talkie or this bofong or bofing or whatever you call it uh little handy talkie both of those are very reasonable priced and uh will and uh dual band and they'll get you on the air at uh, kind of a minimum cost <coughs> excuse me so if we come up over here and we want to look for uh, amateur radios, again, you can just uh, look for VHF, UHF uh, transceivers or uh, HF transceivers or any accessories to go with them. So let's look again at a uh, VHF, UHF handheld uh, handy talkie. So remember, I, I mentioned two of these to you this bow thing, or however you say that. There it is, right there. Let's look at this. And there it is. So <clears throat> here's a little transmitter you can get for $46. And uh, Richard's got free shipping on it. And let's look at some of these. It, it either does four watts or one watts. That's will work for you very well especially if you live around rock wall or you're just trying to hit the repeater there and again it's uh, dual band and uh, you'll be able to talk on the uh, 70 centimeter uh, rock wall uh, repeater or any two meter uh, repeaters that are around the programming on these Chinese radios, uh, and really on all new radios, is uh, kind of difficult to do manually. So in all cases, I would say to get yourself a programming cable uh, when you buy the radio so that uh, you can uh, program the radio by plugging it into a computer. And as you notice on this particular one, there's the free software right there that lets you program this radio. So let's take a look at that other one. If I can find it on his site, I should be able to. Let's see. I can. Well, he, I don't see uh, Wusun on here anymore. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what he did with that or where he stuck it at. Let's see. Link, uh, no. Nope. I don't see it. I don't see it. Let's see. Let me look around here. Handheld. Well, he's got them listed under commercial transceivers. I guess that's because they do reach into those uh, commercial 
band, so he stuck it down in there, and there it is, uh, Oh Sham or Wu San or however you want to say it. There it is. So let's take a look at that. <clears throat> and there's several of them. And they're a little bit higher than the one I just showed you, but uh, you know, all in all, uh, they're they're fine radios. And uh, this one here will uh, serve you quite well. I don't know if that one's a dual band. Let's find out. Ninety nine bucks, I believe it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this will work just fine. And uh, that may be the one that I own. I own one of these, but I can't ever remember uh, uh, which model I know without looking at the box. Um, but anyway, I have one of these. It works real well. Uh, the audio seems to be very good on transmit, you know, and on receive. Uh, audio seems to be really good. Not too expensive. And again, you're going to need a programming cable. When I bought mine, of course, I bought uh, this little, uh, what do you call it, battery replacement. It's got a, uh, it's got a uh, cigarette lighter plug on one end of it. Let's see if he sells them. Man, I don't see them right here, but be that as it may. In other words, if you're in the car, you can plug the radio into the cigarette lighter and basically operate as long as your car battery is working. So I, I bought that little extra thing and just in case I was uh, in some situation where the batteries went out and I could uh, use the car to uh, work the radio. So that was, that was the option that I bought when I bought the radio. And I did buy a little bit better antenna than the one that came with it, but I would say that you know, for normal use, uh, the one that comes with it is is just fine. It's uh, a little bit bigger than what we call a rubber ducky antenna, which is just a little bitty one. So these would be the two radios that I'd recommend that you look at. This one and the Bofung or Bofing or however they say it. And uh, check both of these out. Uh, for your first radio, a little handy talkie that you carry around. Now, once you get past that, I've got to recommend a radio to you that uh, I think is a great value. And uh, it's a two meter radio. But <clears throat> let me see if I can find that for you real quick here. And uh, real quick, let's see, VHF Mobile, Kenwood, it's a Kenwood, let's see if he's got it right here, yeah, see this little Kenwood TM281A, I bought one of those for uh, my emergency station, and there was a couple of reasons I bought it. Uh, first, the low price, one thirty six ninety five for a uh, a mobile quote base station uh, two meter radio. The price was great, you know, it's wood, good brand, and it also transmits, if I believe, at sixty five watts on when you have it on high. So I'm way out here in the country, and I I did want a little extra punch to uh, be able to uh, reach out there with uh, this two meter radio. So it, it's got several power settings. Uh, the high one is I believe 65 watts. So here's a little two meter uh, that I would personally recommend to you. And it's a Kenwood 281A, Kenwood 281A. Now, the other question that came up was, uh, how do I find out if they're any good or not? Well, it's real easy. Again, use Google, and let's type in Kenwood 281A Review. Okay, and what you're looking for is a review over at 
eham.net. Eham.net. So here's a review on that radio. So we'll click it and we go over to eham.net. And they've done a review on this. They gave it a 4.5 out of 5. And yeah, I was right. It's 65 watts. And you can read the reviews from other ham radio operators who have bought this radio. And they'll tell you what they think about it and the good points and the bad points. So to find out if it's any good, I always check uh, the reviews at eham.net. Now, with all review sites, you know, you're going to get, uh, regardless of how how much quality the product may have, you're going to get more negatives than positives sometimes. Sometimes. In other words, people tend to post bad reviews uh, or problems with radios uh, a little bit more than they post, uh, you know, I have no problem and it's been working for the last four years and without any problems. They, they, they normally don't go post that, but uh, I found these to be pretty even on their uh, on their uh, ratings, and you'll get both sides of the story. You know, the good, the guys that think is good, and you're going to get a few that uh, will point out some some defects on the product. Like here's one with a three out of five. I have owned this radio for a year plus now. It works okay. I do like the front firing speaker. I do not like the squelching on the uh, receive at all. It is way too tight, even on level one. There, you know, so he's saying that even when you set it to level one, you may not be able to pick up some weak signals, real weak signals. So, uh, and he gave it a three out of five. Eh, you know, okay. Anyway. You can read the reviews, and then they do an average rating up here for you, and this one is a 4.5 out of 5. Pretty good rating. And uh, <clears throat> so that's what I use to, uh, when I want to, when I'm checking out something new and I want to see how it rates, I use the ratings over at eham.net, along with what I might hear about it from other uh, hams, and, uh, you know, some nets on the radio. So uh, I use those two avenues. So with that said, let's kind of finish this off. This is probably, file size is probably getting real big. But again, just to recap, remember you can go to qrz.com and look at the swap meet items right here under swap meet, hot list. And you're going to see what's on the hot list right then. Or you can go to QTH, QTH, uh, right here, dot com, and go to the classified sections, and you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, used radio items. And then in, uh, if you want to buy new, uh, you know, I would say uh, Main Trading up in Paris, Texas can take care of you along with, uh, uh, there's, a, there's another one, uh, I'm not going to mention the name, but I really don't think much of them. Uh, <clears throat> you can ask me in private who they are. Uh, they really don't have a lot of inventory. They're... Uh, uh, I think main trading beats them uh, by 300%. So uh, that's why I'm not giving you uh, any other retail outlets right now. But you can ask me about them. I'll tell you personally, uh, directly to you if you see me. Anyway, W1XWX, I hope you like that. And, uh, you know, give me a shout. You can contact me, of course, at w one xwx at arrl dot net and I'll be happy to help you with uh, uh, buying your first radio or what do I think of a radio or whatever anyway have a great day 73 clear skies I'm out of here <laughs>